welcome today I'm going to share with you my recipe for spinach rice or baji rice and this is made with pigtails it's a main ingredient and if you don't want to use pigtails you can use salted cod or salt fish or any type of salted meat that you can get so for this recipe I have one pound of pigtail that I went ahead and cut up and pre-boiled to get most of the salt out and it's nice and tender but it's not so tender that it will fall apart on you it still has a little bite because it's going to continue to cook when we put everything together so it will get more soft or more tender. The rest of ingredients for this recipe, I have some chopped celery or parsley if you want, half of a hot pepper chopped, you can use a whole one or you can omit the hot pepper. If you have pimento peppers, that would be great in this recipe also. I don't have any of those. Three tablespoons of minced garlic, four scallions chopped, one cup of shredded carrot, a few pieces of pumpkin chopped, one large onion chopped, two cups of brown parboil rice washed, two cups of coconut milk, the main ingredient is the bhaji. I'm using dashing, dashing bush bhaji. If you want, you can use the Jamaican callaloo or you can just use the spinach that you get from the, the States. Some canola oil and salt and pepper, black pepper to taste. So let's get started on putting this together. To a pot, put up your pot to heat up on medium low and add some oil. You can use whatever oil you prefer. I just like to use canola oil when I'm cooking. So I have about a tablespoon of oil because I'm gonna saute a lot of stuff. To the oil, add your onions. Pepper. Let the onion start to soften. When your onion starts to turn translucent, add in your garlic. Allow your garlic to cook until it slightly starts to turn a light brown color and you don't want this to burn. Now that my garlic has gotten a nice light brown color, I'm going to add my Carrot and pumpkin. Parsley or celery. And scallions. Once you've mixed in everything, add your salted pigtails. Now I'm not going to add any salt to this dish until it's finished cooking because the pigtails sometimes it's very very salty and you don't want to add and you can't take out. So just let this saute in here for one minute. Now add in your washed rice. Mix in your rice. Just going to add some black pepper to this. Okay, now to add the bhaji or spinach. Now add in your coconut milk. I'm just going to add some more liquid to this. So I'm going to add in three cups of water we want enough liquid to help cook the rice and the bhaji. So cover this on low and allow your bhaji to melt down and for your rice to get nice and tender. You want to go in ever so often and give it a turn to make sure that it's not sticking or burning and you want to make sure if you need any more water in here you can go ahead and add it. So my bhaji rice looks like it's done. I'm going to taste this for salt and adjust it accordingly and then I'll dish it out and show you all what it looks like. So here you have it, my bhaji rice or spinach rice with pigtails. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Make it, let me know down below if you like it. Remember you can add any type of vegetable 
extra that you want in this even sweet peppers would be great i would prefer to put red sweet peppers because it will really make the dish pop and give it that extra color so you can find the complete list of ingredients for this recipe down below in the description box so thank you all for watching and i'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes enjoy